57 degrees today, a 91-year-old gentleman from central Indiana, a veteran, will make another memory today. His family says he will be the hero of the game at today's Chicago White Sox game. 24 Days Ace, Brittany Lewis talked with him all about that honor, his service to our country. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. Yeah, Jesse Parnell joined the Army during World War II. Now at 91 years old, he says he will be humbled to be honored at the Sox game today on a day dedicated to remembering those who have died while serving our country. I don't know, really don't know where to start. Jesse Parnell's trip around the world and then w went to Paris, France. Started when he was 18. And joined the Army at uh, Fort Harrison. And uh, then three or four days later, after getting processed, I uh, got on a troop train headed for Texas. When I got on that train and left Fort Harrison, I said I'll, to myself, I'll never see this place again. A private in the Army, he spent months on the water. I had more time on the water than a lot of sailors did. And guarded German prisoners, growing close to the men who were with him. My best friend in the service. He was picked to go into the infantry division. The two split ways, and to this day, Jesse still doesn't know what happened to him. I, I think about it quite often because we were very, very close. After 34 months, Jesse got out, got married, and had four kids. Now living back near Fort Harrison, he has been on the Indy Honor Flight to Washington, D.C., has had this flag flown above the White House in his honor, and will now be recognized at the Chicago White Sox game. I'll, I'll, be, very, I'll be very happy. It's, it's a day that I'll remember. On a day to remember those who died while serving our country around the world. It does mean, mean a lot to me, and uh, it's a day of, day of, of celebrating those that went and those that didn't come back and uh, fortunately uh, I was one of the lucky ones and came back. He believes part of the reason he came back is because of the atomic bomb delivered by the USS Indianapolis that was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. So he's donated his money to the memorial that's on the canal of that ship and those who were killed while on it. Scott and Kylie. Good story. As usual, Brittany, we appreciate it. It's a 57